In our last video, we created a 3D model of the Queen of Sydney. But once we processed the data and zoomed into some of the parts, we weren't too happy with the resolution. So we went out again with our trusty Mavic 3 Enterprise and used the slope route instead of the geometric route feature. The McBarge was one of two McDonald's in the world that was built for Expo 86 in Vancouver. Hey, it's Ben from Candrone. Today we're out here at the McBarge. Uh, we've got the Mavic 3 Enterprise set up with the DRTK. Our, our objective today is to create a very high resolution 3D model. So let's get started. So I'm just flying around and adjusting the corners so that we get some good coverage. But yeah, the nice feature about the slope route is it augments the mapping area on the screen here. By using the slope route feature, we're able to fly much closer to the ship, capturing all the intricate details and allowing us to process it into a higher resolution model. To create this model, we broke the ship into four sections. Three sections we were able to automate using the slope route function, and one of the sides we had to fly manually because of the trees in the way. We were manually flying right now because it's pretty tight behind here, and it's pretty hard to create an AR by route, keeping a close eye on it. I'm making sure we don't hit the trees behind it and the sailboats right in front of it also. It took us about an hour on site to capture all the photos we needed, and because we were flying much closer, we collected much more images for the data set, and that also resulted in much longer processing time. But in the end, the results were much more detailed, and we think it was worth the processing time. 